We're going to work with slipstream fabric dye, which is a cold reactive dye, and all the chemicals are pre-packed at optimum quantities in the packaging. It's always a good idea to work with latex gloves to protect your hands. So before you start, put on your gloves and let's go. This is the fail-safe technique for working with the dye and definitely the most reliable. I've heated some water in a pot on a gas bottle and now I'm going to stir in the dye until all the lumps are dissolved. to stir out all the lumps before you add in any of the other chemicals because the salt affects the solubility of the dye powder. Once I'm sure that all the lumps are gone, I'm going to stir in the salt. Now I'm going to stir in the fabric. At this point, I'm going to check the temperature of the liquid before I add the soda ash. The dye is definitely 65 degrees Celsius, which is the optimum temperature for the product to work. And it's a good time to add the soda ash. Now you'll stir the fabric for another 10 minutes to batter it nicely into the fibre of the fabric. After 10 minutes you can take it off the heat and leave it to stand overnight. Let's see how this technique met the criteria of the chemistry. I selected the correct fabric source. The chemicals went in at optimum levels. We definitely had water in the pot and it was hot. And we gave the reaction time to work. We also worked over here where the chemicals were most effective. So this fabric should take the dye nicely. We've demonstrated the fail-safe way of doing this. Now let's see how we can do it more easily. I recommend that you get all of your equipment ready beforehand so that you can work quickly. You start by boiling the kettle and you will pour the fresh boiling steaming water into the bucket. Now you want to work fast before the liquid loses its heat. First you're going to stir in the dye powder.
You stir in the dye until you're rid of all the lumps. Then you want to add the salt. Once it's completely dissolved, you stir in the fixative. Finally, you add the fabric. While the liquid is still steaming hot, jiggle it around a little bit, just to drive the color right into the cloth. And finally, you put a sinker on top just to make sure that the fabric stays underneath the surface of the liquid. Where the fabric floats above the liquid, it will make a very distinctive mark that people will notice. Let's see if we've met all the requirements of the chemistry. I selected 100% cotton fabric. The chemicals came out of the bags at optimum levels. There's water in the bucket and it's still steaming hot. I'm going to leave it in the bucket overnight to give the chemistry time to happen. 